on this episode. I get the pleasure of digging with the Monday miner Justin and Tim from the Aloha State. He traveled all the way out here to come dig with us today. The sun's out, it's hot, and it feels like summertime. If days continue at this pace, it's only a matter of time before we're back in that water at the bottom of this river looking for that big gold nugget. Well, howdy, everybody. My name's Prospector Jerry, and I'm taking you guys on another adventure. I'm here on the South Yuba looking for gold, and we found it here before. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good day. You guys stick around. I'm gonna have a good show for you, I promise. Oh man, the water is raging again. It's crazy, I was looking at some video. I think Todd was up here a couple weeks back, and I know Adam was up here. You can see his wallet he built. The water wasn't this high, so I, I came up here expecting it to be the case, but nope, I guess this hot weather is melting some of the snow off pretty fast. Well, that kind of sucks. That really limits my area. I'm really glad, though, I brought the vac because I almost opted out of the vac and went for a sluicin. I was going to just do a bunch of sluicin today because I thought the water was going to be low enough, but I don't know. So obviously we're back at Adam's spot. I haven't been here in quite a while. It looks like a lot's changed. I mean, I see Adam's put in a lot of work. Um, I've been mostly up river poking around a lot of my last videos. So um, it's kind of a bummer that the water's high, but what are you gonna do? We're gonna work with it. We came to this spot because Tim, I'm meeting up with Tim. He's got a channel called Blue Lead Productions. Um, I'm meeting up with him. He's staying in nearby in Grass Valley. So this was a good spot he's been to before. It's a spot we can meet at. And this is just a good spot in general for that kind of a situation. So we're gonna get to it. And hopefully, you know, this spot always gives up something, whether it's something good or not very good. It's always gives you something though. So I just hope the high water doesn't affect that too much. I was making my way up river, but there's somebody down here. I could see some stuff and I don't know if I could get by. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room up here. So probably going to head back down. Check this out though. Some pretty cool flowers. Bunch of them. to give you an idea of how high the water is. There's the time tree. Water's up to the time tree. Let's go check out his wall stacking over here. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll dig this boil hole out. Boil holes, <laughs> they're either good or they're not good. Or I don't know, it's hard to explain. Some people won't even mess with boil holes at all. And I know a guy that got probably one of the best pans I've ever seen out of a boil hole. So it's kind of hard to say, but maybe we'll uh, get that material out of there and see what's in there. All right, I got my first pan. Not very good, but something to show you. That's from all around in here. Just kind of a quick little sample. I guess I ran into some ants. So, not sure where I'm gonna go now. I'm kind of limited. 
I have a very small amount of area to work with because of the high water. So, still waiting on uh, Tim. And I forgot to mention uh, Justin, Monday Miner. It's Monday. <laughs> He's supposed to be here. So, getting back into his Monday thing for a little while, I guess. That's awesome. Well, I've been poking around for a good, uh, maybe an hour and a half. I've done about two batteries, almost two batteries. I poked around everywhere. There's not a whole lot to work with right now because of the high water. I even went up in this little creek and did some poking around way up high on the dry bedrock with the vac. And it got a little tiny bit of color, but tons of black sand. So I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I'm running out of stuff to work already. I just got here. So I decided to sit down, have a bite to eat, kind of look over everything, get a idea of what's going on, what's left, you know, really stand back and take a look at it. And I actually came up with a game plan. What I'm going to do is I noticed Adam's been, you know, working this area basically because it's probably one of the only areas you can work down here right now. So he was doing pretty decent, it seems like, right in here. What we're going to do is there's this last little bit, and I'm pretty sure that this isn't overburdened. That looks like, um, you can tell from down here, that hasn't been dug yet. So that's all been dug and vacked, and I'm going to expose this, chuck everything in the hole here, and see if we can find something. So I've been plugging away. I uncovered all this stuff over here. Did a bunch of pans from it. Even broke some bedrock away. You can see it was bad. It wasn't very good at all. Didn't even turn on the camera. Just a few little pieces of color. So then I started really kind of panicking because there's really nothing to dig. I mean, it looks like there is, but I remember back in all this last year. And I mean, we've worked this area hard, so. But, a little glimmer of hope. I found a nest of ants. Something about the ants, man. It seems like when you run into ants, you find gold, or at least I do. Check this out. I put my crevicing tool pointing at it. I can see it from here. I hope the camera can see it. Is that piece of gold right there? Pop right out on me. Look at all the ants. There's a nest of eggs. You can see some of the eggs. Piece of VG. Pretty cool. I'll take it. That, that makes me smile. Heck yeah, it's a good sign. I'm gonna keep going right here then. Alright, well I just did that pan. Not bad. Best pan so far. thinking that that's that piece right there. I hope it is. I'm gonna have to go back and pan my tailings. I thought that piece was a little bit bigger than that. I'm not seeing it in there. Uh -oh. Look who we have here. Hot for sandwich. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. I know it's in flight to speak to a mouthful of food. You ready to get some gold, Tim? I'm ready to get some gold, Tim. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Gotta get the shoes on. Get the slew set up. Get some gold. I'm gonna get back to backing over here. Is that where you're at? Yeah. Well, got another okay pan. Nothing great, but. What's your color? Working up there. Vacuum. Here's where Justin's working over here. Tim plugging away down here.
looks like Justin's gonna do a clean out. Four buckets. I mean, there's some flower stuff up here, but it has this water moving so fast. There's bed stuff here. Let's see what these ripples catch. Oh, yeah, I can see gold already from right here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I see it. Cool. Yeah, this stuff's thick. Blue ball material. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. I'm gonna see if that rock moves. I'll take that. That looks nice. Plus there's still more in there that well, like I said this black seems to be. Justin was telling me he's running out of material. Tim's doing all right. Uh, he's just kind of digging everywhere, but he's getting pretty good gold. You were top filing on Justin's day claim, day huh? Claim. He day claimed it. We yeah. day claimed over Adam's claim. <laughs> That's a nice pen. Here we got a nice flake. And there's some more down in the black sand. I should contribute all that black sand down there to Justin. Because he's got the blue ball. Awesome. Take a look at that. That's the dream. You the gold. And there was a guy named Adam who dreamed of Yuba Gold. He lived back in the cold, frigid northeast. That's where his family is. He loves his family. It's good to be together with your family. But Adam had a dream of Yuba Gold. And so he came out here on the California Gold Rush. I personally never dreamed of gold at all. I, got, I was watching YouTube videos of that prospector show, and I stumbled on some of Alan, Adam's California Gold Rush stuff. And I thought, hey. That yeah, looks cool. I used to love backpacking around in the Sierras, carrying a heavy pack and getting nothing out of it other than the view and the experience. And so I gave it a try and I decided, hell, I love it. This is great. So through all of watching all of Jerry's videos and Adam's videos and Top Cat's videos, I met up, I met with you guys. Turns out JC lives about 12, JC, the one and only mining Hawaiian, lives about 12 miles from me on the island of Oahu. So, I have a condo, I need to rent my condo. JC has a friend, JC's friend named, his name is Nick. Nick needs a, needs a condo to live in. I rent my condo out to Nick. Nick is happy as a clam in the condo um, uh, with his beloved at this point. And so, all of these good things. This trip on the Yuba today, why did it happen? Because Adam dreamed of gold. It's true, very true. I put this stuff in the snuffer box. And then I'm gonna dump the rest of the black sand in it. Yeah, it's a good day. Well, I'm pretty much done. These guys are wrapping up. They had a pretty good day, other than the high water. Justin probably did the best. He's got a little honey hole going on over here. don't forget that we all made do with the conditions mother nature gave us this day it actually turned out to be quite a good day if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share it it'd be much appreciated we'll see you on the next adventure thanks for watching Thank you.